I'm 21, but I've like I've played baseball. I've been a collegiate athlete. I've done a lot of things in my life. Uh, I feel that I'm a lot uh, more mature than a lot of them at, at what they are. Uh, no offense to gamers, but um, gamers haven't really been out in the real world, in my opinion. And I have had tons of experience in the real world. Uh, I have... I've, I've had at least a good 10 years in the real world away from video games and dealing with whole bunches of crap. Um, been to six colleges in four years because of baseball. I've been all over. I've met multiple people. And uh, I really don't have time to deal with 16-year-old kids that are going to uh, give me hell. Which is another thing. Um, I refuse to talk to people that are under 18 years old in terms of voice chatting. I have no problem talking and typing to you. If you want to send me a message, I have no problem with that. Um, it's not, I mean, I can respond to you. I'm a nice guy. I'll do it in the forums or anything. I'll back you up, do whatever you want. But unless you're 18 years old and you have a good grip on life and you're in college, uh, basically I don't want to voice chat with you. Two reasons, uh, or multiple reasons. One reason is, is uh, I don't want to get in trouble, basically. Um, there's way too many pedophiles and all these people on, on the internet that get slammed and try and do stuff. And I know when I was, if I was, if I had a kid that age, I really wouldn't want them to be doing all this stuff uh, online and get used to all that stuff so I just I don't deal with that um, and another thing is basically I don't talk to anyone because I don't have the time to talk to anyone other than game anyone directors or if you're in the, if you get in that chat so um, like even Dave Dave and me talk a lot but you know uh, Dave had to finally here he asked me he said you know wh where you been and I just, I told him, you know, during uh, Monday through Thursday, I have basically no time with school and work to get on, on even Skype, because I have to study and all that stuff. For uh, Thursday nights I can, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I sometimes can, depending if I'm working. So my schedule is never really intact. So it's just, it's just best I just don't have time really to talk to other people. I can get on and help you if you need any help. I've done that for a couple people uh, in terms of like recording or doing some editing software or um, streaming just a little bit just to show some people how to do it. Um, yeah, and f just for people to know, if you want to be a Game Anyone director, basically you have to have commentary. Uh, just bottom line. Uh, basically, your the, the the standards for videos are just incredible. Now that everyone basically can do 720p, so um, just you have to have commentary unless your unless your video quality is absolutely spectacular in 1080p. Um, and you, or you know how to edit and make stuff like, and use, uh, yeah, Overlord, I was going to say, he sometimes does 720p, but what he does is he knows editing very well, so he can put filters and, uh, sharpness images over his games to make them look a lot better than normal quality. Like, for instance, uh, Overlord's Wii games, uh, I know that he uses uh, filters and stuff and he sharpens the image and he plays with the quality once it's actually in the editing software. Um, I believe he does something with game related so he does a, he can get his games on the Wii looking better than basically anyone else can just because that's what he does basically for a living is he just like improves quality so he can get away with it. Um, when Overlord would talk in his thing, he just he has a really 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 thick accent, and he I think he said he tried, but he, people were commenting about it about his accent being really thick, so he just decided to stop and just basically focus on um, 
just doing games, and that's more fun for him anyway. So you know, whatever is more fun for you. Uh, I'm not saying you don't ha you don't have to have commentary. It's just um, if you want to be a director, you have to basically. There's there's no way there's no way really anyone's getting in without commentary. So. Uh, and you you know you have to you have to be very fairly popular do a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I they've been wanting they've been wanting me for let's see I applied. They liked my commentary, but they they did not like my uh, video quality. So basically, it took me about f five months to be able to get my quality up to standards, and I had to totally upgrade. Uh, put a thousand dollars into my computer in order to upgrade it. Or build a new computer. Uh, so just know that you know it's it's you don't have to do it, but just know that you know if you are going to do it, it, it does take dedication, and, and this really has to be one of your hobbies, something you like to do, which is what I like to do. I like to get on, talk about the game that I'm playing, and enjoy the game that I'm playing. Who's who's my favorite let's player that's not connected to game anyone? Um. That's a fairly easy question. Uh, I don't like people that cuss a lot in their videos. I feel that that takes no skill whatsoever, and that they get a lot of cheap view, cheap subscribers on YouTube just because uh, they swear a lot in their videos. I also don't like people that just just do the new games just to get that whole crop of um, uh, viewers. So. Uh, that my favorite let's player that's not connected to game anyone would have to be uh, Necroscope 8086. Uh, he is not. He swears a little. He swears sometimes in his game, but it's not. That's what people don't know him for. And he does a good variation of games. Um, Darkside Field is mentioned, but he swears a ton in his games, and I lose a lot of respect for people who do that. Um, and then people might ask, well, you know, Dave does it a lot in his videos. But if you listen to Dave, he doesn't do it just for the heck of it. He basically does it when he's progressing the story or if he's saying something in terms of the story or if he's vo if he's voicing over something, he'll add some sort of sexual innuendo or something in that phrase. Um, some Let's Players just cuss all the time and just... Uh, it's not... It doesn't take me that much stuff. Am I eating a walnut? No, I'm clicking a pen. I should probably stop that though. Um, <laughs> someone was asking me if I was eating a walnut. No, no, I was just uh, clicking my pen. Uh, just because. I'm just waiting around. Waiting around for this park to be over and get that elusive mega park. Ooh, yeah, people people at school that uh, have nervous little habits kind of piss me off when I'm trying to uh, learn because I don't do a lot of homework or studying. I, I get a lot of my learning done at school. I figure that's what you're supposed to do. I need to start getting kind of a little bit away from that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I should probably stop doing that, actually, and start studying some more. Uh but yeah, so not not the best. Uh, let's see. What was my best subject in high school? Oh, math, without a doubt. Math, ridiculous. You give you give me sets of formulas and uh, equations or a calculator, and I can I can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm a, I'm pretty good with that. I just I got stuck when I went up to calculus two or three. Um, 
in integrals and um, derivatives of sine and cosine really messed me up big time. I did not understand that. That did not click in my head. Other than that, though, I'm fairly good at uh, at math. Let's see. I'm gonna ask myself a question. Um, what's my biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve are dumb girls. 